I'm Lynn Horseman, and welcome to the second annual ATC Atlantic Provinces Rally Championships being held in St. Antoine. Coming up in just a minute is the Tug of Trikes. This is a new event, and we're going to try it this year and see just exactly, I don't know what will take place with it, but they'll be doing that just very shortly, as well as after the Tug of Trikes, we have the stunts out in the field. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the tuck of trikes is just about to begin. We've got two three-wheelers that are held together at the back, and when they put the speed on, hit the throttle and go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to go with the tug of trikes. A Honda, the red one's a Honda, and the yellow one is a Yamaha. Yamaha and Honda, the tug of trikes. They're ready, and we're set to go. Okay, folks, we're ready to go on the tug of trikes. They're hooking them up, and there'll be the test of strength. Tug of trikes. Part of your go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got one trike that's going to attempt to pull two, the tug of trikes. They're just about set to go. He did it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the St. Anne Twin Gun Club, who are hosting this ATC Atlantic Provinces Rally, is bringing you some pretty spectacular riding out here right now. On the two wheels on the back of their machines, straight, straight up in the air, 
We had a couple going a while ago that where one fellow was riding on top of the, another one's shoulders. I don't know where they've gone right offhand. Some of these bikers haven't been driving on the bikes very long, two, three months. Some of them have had them a couple years. The ATCs actually are a whole new concept to biking. The three-wheelers, they can go virtually anywhere. Rivers, through the rivers, woods. Uh, they're used an awful lot for hunting, fishing, on the farms, and of course, your recreational fun as well. They're certainly putting them to the test out here today. Flag is down and the bikes are off. The ATC Rally Championships from St. Antoine. There are approximately 90 bikes registered for the Endurance Rally this afternoon. And they're leaving two bikes at a time, about 15 seconds apart. There are five classes of bikes, the 110, the 185, the 200, the 200 Big Red, and the 250. This is one of the first rivers. He's right out there in the middle of it, and that bike's actually floating. The last two days, we've had quite a bit of rain, and the rivers are, are high. Let's see how this gentleman makes out crossing. He, well, he didn't seem to have any trouble at all getting across there. Yeah. This year's rally is sanctioned by the Canadian Motorcycle Association with the rally following the rules and regulations set up by the CMA. It's another gentleman crossing the river here. It's a beautiful day here for the rally. It's sun shining, it's nice and warm. As I said, we've had a couple days of rain, which has made the rivers high, but today just seems to be excellent for these bikes. The St. Antoine Gun Club is hosting this ATC Rally, the Atlantic Provinces Open ATC Rally Championships, with approximately 90 bikes registered, and we have a number of them coming down the hill right now, crossing the river. They don't seem to have much of a problem crossing at all, other than it's very deep in one spot. And they reach that area and the boat, uh, the trikes actually start to float. And the riders are dressed for it, rain suits, helmets. We've got a pile up on the other side. One fellow kind of dragging his feet going up the hill. The drivers are working towards beautiful trophies and awards for this rally. The, um, ma one of the major prizes is a 1983 200X Honda ATC and uh, being supplied by Honda Canada and Toys for Big Boys in Moncton. And this is for a combination driver. And it's accumulated points from the morning's race or the family rally this morning and the points of this, the race this afternoon. Trophies will be presented at the end of the race for the top five drivers in each class. So there's a lot at stake here today with the trophies being presented and the special awards. Spectators really get into this. They just love it. They're out there cheering them on and clapping for them and laughing if something should happen. They, the bike's upset, but they really enjoy it. And they've had a number of people um, out today for the rally from the starting line here at the river there's just numerous people that have walked back or brought their maybe dirt bikes back to watch the boys crossing the river see how they're going to make out almost made it 
Oh, there we go. The drivers are anywhere from the age of 16 to about 55. And they all seem to know how to handle their bikes and how to get them across the rivers and Oh. They all make it. There's um, a number of them ready to cross here now. We'll see how they make out. This is the second river, and it's a little wider, not quite as deep, I don't think, who watch as, as a couple of the bikes come across and see, but there's a very steep hill when they reach the other side of the river that they have to climb, and it's, it's become very muddy and slippery with the bikes going up it all day. You've got just a, a very wet surface. See, this fella's having a problem getting his up over the bank. That was no problem at all for that gentleman. Little push, get him out of the way. They stop at the checkpoint just for a second. Another gentleman having a problem with the bank there. Cheers from the crowd. He's got her going. And up that hill. Oh! Spectators really love this. Starting her on the side, too. You sometimes wonder, watching the bikes come through the rivers, how they can come through all that water and still be running, but they, they all seem to. Um, they don't have any problem with them. If, if they don't start, it's only a minute or two, and they get them started, and away they go. That hill is really slippery. gosh. One thing about the bikes, they're not too heavy. So if they do upset, the drivers don't have much of a problem picking them up and getting them going again. Through certain parts of the track, the, uh, the riders get really muddy, just from head to toe. So at least coming through the rivers, it gives a chance for them to get cleaned up a bit, mud off them and their tracks. Spectators around the rivers, it's really, they walk, uh, walked a pretty good distance to come down and view the uh, riders coming across the rivers and, and the events that are happening as far as getting up the hill and over the banks.
It's not an easy course, for sure. I would say these fellows are in really good shape. Driver stopping there to have a look at the river before he crosses it, see maybe which angle would be best to attempt it. And he's come down along the side of the bank of the river, right up to the road that goes up the hill, so he didn't have a problem with getting up over the bank at all. Nineteen eighty three ATC Rally Championships. These bikes and drivers both are really seeing a lot of rough terrain today. Stopping at the checkpoint. That hill just keeps getting slipperier and slipperier as more of the bikes go up over it. right over backwards. Another gentleman coming across there. Oh, to try that again. I don't know if he's going to make this hill. Gosh, they hit the banks hard sometimes when they come across there. Just... Oh, yeah. The other gentleman made the hill. This is the second year that St. Antoine has hosted the trike rally, and it seems that each year it's going to be bigger and better than the year before. Last year it was excellent, but this year it's just um, more riders uh, have registered. The, ter the course is rougher than it was last year, and the people just love it. We got one fell upset in the middle of the river. There, got his bike out. You can see the number of spectators that have come down to the river to watch these drivers competing in today's rally. Another gentleman out there in the middle of the river. Got three right now, trying to, one still in the river and two trying to get up that bank. That's quite steep. Every bike that's crossed the river to this point has made the bank on the other side as well as the hill. The drivers know how to use the bikes. They know how to give them enough speed to get up the hill. We had a chance to talk to the uh, winner of the Honda ATC for combination driver of the day, Marcel Poirier. Marcel, have you ever been in a rally before, ATC rally? No, never. It's the first time. First time. What do you think of the track? It's pretty good. It's pretty wet, but it was all right. Did you have any problems with any particular parts of it? A couple of rivers. That was it. 
You crossed two rivers. Yeah, and there was the last one was bad. Really? What about what bike were you driving through the ATM? Two fifty R. Two fifty R. And a Honda two fifty R. A Honda, yeah. A Honda. So you'll be used to this one that you've oh, won. Yeah. I've already had one like this. It's, really? Yeah. yeah. And you ran both races, the family rally and the afternoon rally, the speed rally. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, run both. Run both. And it's points taken from both races, is it, that acquire the overall, like the overall prize of today? Well, I guess so. That's what they said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. The gentleman with me right now is Mr. Ron Cormier, and he's promotions coordinator for the Atlantic Province's ATC rally uh, that was held here today in St. Antoine. Ron, uh, how long is the track that the bikers were on today? Uh, about 18.7 miles to be exact. Really? Uh, oh yes, and it was about a half an hour to an hour finish. Now there were two races. There was yes. the family rally in the morning and the speed rally, or I call it speed rally, it could be a... The endurance, the high, the the high the speed endurance, endurance yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the two races, how are the points scored? Like, would you explain the, the point system on the races today? In the morning, actually, uh, each driver started with 250 points. From there, uh, we had a pre-calculated time of the race, which we knew how much time it should take uh, at normal driving from one checkpoint to the other. So what happened is each driver, as they came from one checkpoint to, for the whole race, knew if it, like today, it was supposed to take an hour and 26 minutes. So each minute over or under were deducting points. So this afternoon, uh, well this morning actually, one of the winner came uh, under the minute and he finished with 249 points. But you know, he did not win combination driver today because uh, he got stranded in the second race and uh, he blew it. Oh, uh, there were quite a few stranded, I believe, in the second race. Lost or nine number. in the second race. Nine, three Out in the first one. How many altogether? How many bikers registered to participate in the race? Well, it was almost 90 of them this morning uh, registered, and we had a couple more this afternoon. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was <laughs> enough of them. <laughs> the race this year was. Uh, through the CMA, I believe. Could you elaborate on that a bit or explain? Well, we were all going by their uh, rulings, completely sanctioned by them, and, uh, you know, it, we wanted to be a protected uh, race, and an official race, and because we went through the CMA, we we're officially recognized as the Atlantic Championships, and next year will be the national one, because we are, the, we are certified to run next year as the final of Canada. The 200X machine is an award or a prize towards what? Okay, well, see what happened is, uh, it's like I said uh, a few moments ago, that uh, the points tabulated in the morning and the afternoon combined together, the drivers that mm -hmm. had more points during the day, would be uh, classified as combination driver today. And uh, was Marcel Poirier, I believe, mm -hmm. his name was, and uh, he's still four feet off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a prize. That's oh. a beautiful prize. Well, have. anybody that receives a prize over $2,500 got to be uh, quite happy about it, and I would be too. Oh, certainly. Where were the bikers from? Like, what areas? Well, all over Atlantic Canada, as a ruling. Uh, the only place we, did, we didn't have any, actually, was uh, out of Newfoundland. And uh, they, they couldn't drive them across. <laughs> That's probably why they didn't come. <laughs> we'll have them next year. Oh, I hope so. Ron, it's just been a, a, a great day. It's been fantastic. Oh, the the races, oh. you had a, a terrific group of people. And the St. Antoine Gun Club has hosted the trike rally, as well as the Eastern Antlers open contest yes. that was held this weekend. How do you feel the weekend is gone? Can you sum it up for us? Well, I mean, you know, uh, we... Uh, could we compare it to last on a year at all? From 1 to 10, about 12. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, we're going to say good night. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us from St. Antoine, the Atlantic Province's Open ATC Rally Championships. Thank you for joining us. Good night.